Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once more. My name is Adam. Let's talk about football. And I want to begin with this particular post I saw on social media. And I wasn't really, really happy about it. Now, it's a statement from Peter Crouch on Ademola Lukman after the player scored a hat-trick against Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League final. And the statement is here. I want to read it out very quickly. Now, the statement states that if Ademola Lukman had been patient, he would have played for England instead of Nigeria. Who makes this type of statement? I was not really happy about this statement. Yes, I'm a Ghanaian, but then this is not only about Nigeria. This is also about other African countries, Ghana inclusive. We also have players who have ditched Ghana and decided to play for England. We have players who were patient with this same England national team and they were ditched later. So, well, I think you're coming back to say this because the player performed at the Europa League finals. Peter Couch, stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to uh, Ghanaians, Nigerians, or Africans. Stop lying to us. Let me give you an example of players who were patient with this England national team. And it really didn't go well. Daniel Holbeck, number one. He decided to play for England instead of Ghana. And where did, where did that get him? It didn't get him anywhere. He was in England squad and wasn't even playing. He wasn't the main striker. Let me give you another example. Let me give you another example of players who were patient. Callum Hudson Odoi. He was patient with England up till now. This player is hoping and wishing that England will still give him a call up. He's still getting a call up. Even Ghana used the World Cup to convince him. And still, maybe I'm talking about Ghanaian players too much. So let's go to Nigerian players. What happened to Tammy Abraham? Tammy Abraham was patient with this same England team. And he has been this. This player is in Italy. He won what, the Europa Conference League with A.S. Roma, with Moreno. He still did it in a call up to the England national team. You want another Nigerian player, a player who decided that, no, I have to check out my own path and play for Nigeria, an African country. Peter Crouch, because what, the player scored three goals in an European League final, you are telling the player that he should have been patient and have played for what, England? Are you really serious? I think the African players or players who have, you know, African origin and they can play for either England or Africa, they need to wake up. They need to be very smart. Look at what happened to Fukuyo uh, tomorrow. He was at Chelsea performing very well, went to AC Milan performing very well, but then he normally does not end with call up to the England national team. This player is a solid player. I don't know what they are waiting for. If I have my own chance to convince this place, talk to them one on one, I'll tell them that my guy, what are you waiting for? African football is evolving. Look at the Ghana team, for example. There's Tariq Lamptey, there's Naki Williams, Seven, you know, th These are players who were not even born in Ghana. The football is involving. You go to Ivory Coast, say, Sebastian Hela, Zaha. These are players who were not born in Ivory Coast, but they are playing there. Come to Nigeria, the same thing. Trust the one. We have Calvin Bassi. Everywhere. I think when I look one, these players were not born in like, but they are still there. This is what I'm trying to say. African football is involving. If you look at the African teams coming to AFCON right now, the players in there are players who are doing so well and their clubs are at the top level, but decided to ditch. You know, those European countries and play for Africa. What are you waiting for? Why Bissaka, what happened to him? He was also waiting for this England call up. He was so patient. And guess what? He's never been considered uh, for England national team call up. Never. Never been considered. Now he has done a youth and wants to go and play for Congo. Congo says no. Dear Congo says no. One Bissaka, go back. You made your decision. Go back. So, Peter Crouch, I don't even subscribe to your statement. Then, if Ademola Lukman was patient, he would have been playing for England instead of Nigeria. Like what I try to say, is Nigeria not a better team currently than England? What has England done in the, in the last 10 years when it comes to playing tournaments? At least Nigeria, they can boast of going to the AFCON finals. I mean, let's, let's be very honest. I mean, this statement really, really, I really don't like it because it's not only about Nigeria, it's only also about Ghana and also other African countries where players decided to ditch us because they were patient with this England national team. Some of the players are obsessed of playing this England national team because Nigeria could have had an all-star team. Tammy Abraham, Fukayo Tuwari, Olise, they could have, they could have a great you know, squad. If all the players decided that, you know, we are not going to wait for these European countries to call us, we are going straight to Nigeria. I'm telling you, Ghana to for, for Ghana to the same. If you go to other African countries, the same. Ivory Coast, Kenya, whatever country it is, the same thing. I'm not really happy about this statement. But guys, let me know your thoughts about this statement down below in the comments. Because I think Peter Crouch, he should, he should stop lying to himself because this statement is not true. 
we all know that even if he was patient, he will still not the, he will still not get the call up. Even if he got the call up, trust me, he's not going to play. Sancho is going to play what in uh, UCL finals. He's not even in an England provisional squad. You are trying to tell Ademola Lopmana if he was patient. Peter Crouch, drop it. We beg. We, do, we don't want to hear that. Now, let's talk about the next item. Now, the next item is this particular picture you see on the screen here. And this happened in 2007. Now, you can see in the picture, Tony Cruz, who is from Germany. You can see a Ghanaian player called Ransford Osai and also a Nigerian player called Makoli Christantos. And these players, I mean, 17 years later, their lives are different now. And we are going to talk about them live here on Sports Corner GH Extra. Now, this picture was taken in 2007. Now, in 2007, there was an under-17 World Cup tournament in South Korea. And then Ghana was in the same group with Germany, Colombia. And at the end of the tournament, these players were judged the best. Yes, the best. In fact, they had the world in front of them. Now, in that game, in that tournament, sorry, the first game Ghana played against Germany, Ransford Osai scored a goal. Tony Cruz also scored a goal. Now, these two teams also met again in the fourth and third place off. And still, Ransford Osai scored a goal. Tony Cruz also scored a goal. But in both games, Germany beat Ghana. By the end of the tournament, this is what each player won. Tony Cruz won the golden ball and also the bronze boots. Michael Osai won the silver boots and also Nigerian Makoli Christian Toss won the golden boots. And this is the picture you see on your screen. But then the question everybody is asking is that, where are these players now? Where are they now? Now, let's take a look at where these players are currently. Now, for Ransford Osai, he has retired from football at the age of 30. For Tony Cruz, he retired from international football at the age of 31. We heard it quite some few days ago. And for Macaulay, Christian Tush, he's an active player currently playing. He's also at the age of 30. He's still playing. Now, uh, let's talk about this. I saw another post which really, really, you know, excites me a lot because it's all about life, you know, the decisions we make and the pact we decide to, you know, chatter. Now, this post says that Tony Cruz retires as a World Cup winner, multiple Champions League winner, and a football legend. Macaulay Christian Tush never even played for the Super Eagles. And also, Ransford Osai only made two appearances for the Black Stars, football and that is life. That is football and that is life. And as I said, it's all about football, it's all about life. Football is more or less about decision making. What you do as a young player really affects you in the future. And it applies to our personal life because the decision we make today in the present is the result we are going to get in the future. If you save one CD or if you save one, two, three today, it is what you are going to rip off in the future. And this is this is based on decision making. This is life. It's not like these players were not good. I believe that at the end of the day, decisions played a very important role as to where they landed 17 years from the time this picture was taken. And this is all about life. And I'm bringing it back to you. Life on Sports Corner GH. Tony Cruz from Germany, Rasford Osai from Ghana, and Macaulay Christian Toss from Nigeria. Guys, thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Don't forget to, you know, drop your opinion on Peter Crouch's statement on Ademola Lukman. I, I'm not really happy about that statement. Even though I'm not a Nigerian, I've taken the case upon myself. It's my business now because it's not only about Nigeria. It's also about Ghana. We also have players who would love to come and play for the Ghana national team. But then, these players are waiting patiently for the England call-up. Edin Kitsia, Callum Patton, all uh, Gerald Quanta, Kobe Mayen, with this, there are a lot of players who would, who would, and would love to see in the blood studies. But then, guess what? They are waiting for England collapse. They are patient. Let's see what will happen with them. Probably they don't end up like Daniel Wilbeck. They don't end up like Tammy Abraham or Fikayo Tumori and all those things. But guys, this is my own takes on the issue. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.